Okay, we're recording. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'll keep it really brief because I know that Eric's got so much to say, but the way that I got introduced to this was through the grapevine. Everyone's talking about Team Z, and we got shared with our team, our greater team, Team Summit, a call that Eric was hosting a couple days ago. And after I saw it at the end, he said, I'd be more than happy to host any calls for any of you leaders. So I jumped on it immediately and I said, I need a team call. So I'm just super excited that he was open to offering that to us and that he is here today. And I'm blown away. I cannot wait. I know that this is going to be so good for our business. So take it away, Eric. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you so much. Very excited to be here too. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do is mute everybody. Um, I, guys, so don't be offended by that. That's just so there's no distractions. But if you want to talk or like you feel the spirit move, you just unmute yourself for, and ask me whatever you want. But I will do also a Q&A at the end. When I'm done presenting, I'll do a Q&A. Okay, so you can save those questions or you can ask them if you can't stand it. <laughs> it's all good with me. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. A couple things you need to know about Teams. I know there's a little bit of a buzz about it with Juice Plus, which is awesome. We're so excited to be working with you guys. There's, there's really, I'm going to take you through a presentation first, and then I'll take you into Teams. I'll set it up for you, and I'll show you how to just destroy a power hour in like 20 or 30 minutes. Okay? So we'll do that in, tonight. But I want to give you two things that you need to know about it. The first is that Teams is built on the concept and philosophy of relationship marketing. Okay, I'm going to go deep into that tonight and explain what I mean by that. But it's kind of the opposite of a lot of what you hear out in our industry. It's about relationships. The relationship's more important than the sale. The person's more important than the recruit. And when we keep our focus there, our heart's in the right place. It's so rewarding building this business. We don't blow up relationships. But also, guys, I'm going to teach you a system to do it systematically so you get predictable results also. So it's a system, but also with the right kind of heart. And it's all based on the concept of the power hour. Team is built around the idea that you can go in and less than, one, than less than one hour a day of focused time, do all your income producing activities. Sound cool? <laughs> I think it's cool. All right, let's jump in. I'm going to show you my presentation, take you through this. So here we go. How to leverage relationship marketing and become a power hour boss. Okay, hold on a second. Bear with me a second, guys. I left the Zoom view in the middle of my slides. I can't do that. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's what we want to be, is a power hour boss. Okay, a little bit about my backstory. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the creator and founder of Teams, you know that. But my background is in business coaching and consulting. That's what I've done for the past 15 years. I've helped people build their business. I've taught relationship marketing. I've helped people build systems like Teams has already done for you. You won't have to custom build it for your business. But that's where I'm coming from. And I kind of fell into network marketing by accident, probably like some of you guys. I found some products that really helped me. I lost a lot of weight. I felt great. And I was sharing them just naturally with people because I was in love with products. Anybody relate to that? I wasn't a distributor or anything. I was just sharing with people what I was doing. And then when I did realize that the incredible business opportunity that we have in network marketing, I put on my business consultant hat and thought, okay, well, how am I going to do this in an hour a day? I need tools. I need to find ways to leverage my time. And so that's kind of how Teamsy came to be. It was something that I needed myself because we couldn't find anything out there that A, was easy to use, kept people's focus where it needed to be, just on connecting with people and building relationships, and that was based on relationships and not the whole go for no, like, gross thing. Okay, you guys will understand how I feel about that as we go through this. Okay. My, um, one of my business partners today who does all our marketing, he sent me this title and he goes, he goes, did you know you could build your business without ever feeling icky? And I thought, wow, that's brilliant. He goes, I know. I just, somebody asked me to describe what you teach, and, and that was what I came up with. So I'm going to have to change this, right, to that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so what is relationship marketing? When I say relationship marketing, what do I mean by that? First and foremost, I want you guys to know this. Relationship marketing is a lead generation system. It's a lead generation system. That's a system that initiates consumer interest or inquiry into the products or services of a business. It's not just like kumbaya, we love each other and we treat people well. It's actually a system that generates leads. Make sense? Okay, and I want you guys to have a mindset shift. I'm actually going to shift your mindset at least three times during this call. The first one is this. 
your business. It's not marketing incredible, um, healthy uh, supplements, products, um, you know, all the things that you do. That's not your business. Your business is lead generation. Okay. You are in the lead generation business. What I mean by this guys is that no matter how busy you were in your business today, if you didn't do activities that generate new leads, you didn't build your business today. Does that make sense? And so once you get that mindset shift, that this little bit of time, and by the way, it's going to be like with teams, it'll be about 30 minutes a day will be your proactive income producing activities. It's going to be so efficient, but it's something you got to do every day. I do a whole nother training. Where I t How many of you guys have kids? Have you ever not, have you ever forgotten to feed your kids for a whole day? It was, can you think of there a time where you just, you know, you got busy, so you just didn't feed your kids. You would never do that. But what actually feeds your kids? Your business, right? There's so many times we forget to feed our business. You got to think about your business as another child that needs nurturing, right? But this is the child that will actually take care of you in your later years. All right. Sorry. I'm going off on tangents already, Penny. I'm in trouble. I got to stay focused. Okay. Am I hitting the wrong button? There we go. Next slide. Principle. Here's another principle. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. So we generate leads, which in this case is we meet new people, right? So that we can develop and deepen relationships with them. That's the business, guys. If I described like, how do you build this business? You, you go deeper with the people you know, and you meet new people, and you go deep with them too. That's it. And if you focus on that, you're going to have a great business. What we do with those relationships is we turn them into advocates, okay? We turn them into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service. I'll show you that a little bit tonight as we go. The idea here, guys, is that everybody in the world that you connect with will either be a distributor on your team, a customer, or an advocate if you invest in those relationships. Make sense? Or sometimes all three. Okay. Next principle. This is a big one. Relationship marketing depends on trust. Relationship marketing depends on trust. My way of saying this is, if you're a jerk, this ain't gonna work, okay? If you're a jerk, this ain't gonna work. Have you guys ever come across somebody in this business that maybe is not that trustworthy? Maybe not Juice Plus, but maybe another network, all right? Yeah, there's a lot of them. In fact, there's, people are really resistant to network marketing in general because of the way it's been done over the last several decades. It's got kind of a reputation that we need to overcome. I'm going to show you guys tonight how we can, how with, with some heart and the right systems, we can overcome that. But relationship marketing depends on trust. We're going to build trust with people, okay? And trust makes the work fun because if people trust you even just a little bit, you don't have to convince them. You don't have to sell them. You just get right to helping them, right? Also, trust takes the icky feeling away. There's no icky salespeople when there's trust. Okay, so we focus on that first. We don't have to worry about coming across as icky. And also you get to go for yes. Instead of going for no, where we're jamming through our relationships and throwing the ones who say no over our shoulders like dead bodies, we get to actually focus on helping people, investing in the relationship, making people's day, and realizing that maybe not everybody's yes right away, but we're working on it with everybody over time. Make sense? Okay, so how do you build trust? There's four essential ingredients to building trust, okay? Four essential ingredients to building trust. Don't worry if I'm going too fast for you. We're recording it, so you guys can always come back to these things. The first one is chemistry. Chemistry, okay? Um, chemistry, character is the second one. Character, competence, and consistency. Chemistry, character, competence, consistency, okay? I'll break them, I'll break them down each one for you. Let's talk about chemistry. Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. Okay, what is it about you they can relate to? Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? I'm not going to go too deep into this one, and I'm sure that you guys as a team have talked a lot about attraction marketing and finding your niche and finding people like you or people that have interests like you, things like that. The bottom line with this, guys, is it's hard to, tr it's hard to do business with somebody you don't like. Isn't that true? And Zig Ziglar said it like this, people prefer to do business with the people they like. They just do. So find common ground. Seek common ground. When you meet somebody, 
no matter how different than you they seem, just try to figure out what the common ground is. Just ask questions. I used to work with this guy, Marty, he was amazing. He believed that, you know, that, that there, was a, there was a movie years ago that was like six degrees of separation. Is that the right number? Six or seven degrees of separation with Will Smith. He believed it was only two degrees, that all of us were only separated by two people in the entire world. And he proved this all the time. You guys, this is amazing. I wish I had filmed him doing it. He would go up to any stranger and ask questions until he figured out who they knew in common. He did it in Brazil with a translator. He's done it like all over the place. Isn't that amazing? We're all connected. Just ask questions, uncover what you have in common. There's plenty of differences. Figure out what we have in common. Um, one little side note on this too. They just did a study proving that opposites do not attract. We actually like people who are, we think are similar to ourselves. So again, chemistry. Okay, next, character. Characters when you demonstrate that, uh, I'm sorry, characters when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're good and that you're relatable. Characters when you demonstrate how much you care and that you are relatable. Please notice that this definition of character is not something you own or, or have, it's something you do. Character is something you do, it's an action, okay? And sometimes we think that like, you know, people should never question our integrity and we get offended if we feel like it's being questioned. But you have to understand that if you're not demonstrating your character to that person, then they should question it, okay? And when it comes to your audience and your customers and your team, you have to constantly be demonstrating that care. Make sense? Okay. Third is competence. Competence is when you demonstrate you're good at what you do and that you're a business person. Okay. Competence is when you demonstrate you're good at what you do and you're a business person. In other words, I need help. My health is shot. I need, can you help me with that? Could, could anybody help me with that? If I came to you and said, I'm on like 10 different medications, how can I get healthy? I need to know that you know what you're talking about, that I can trust you to help me. Are you competent? Now, the other half of this, of this is if I decide to become a distributor myself, can you help me with that? Are you competent enough to, to mentor me in this business? I need to know this. And again, competence isn't something you just have. You have to be showing it. You have to be demonstrating it, okay? Now, question for you guys. Anybody on the call a little bit newer, somewhat newer? Do we have anybody like that? A couple people? So if you're new, has, have you guys ever heard just fake it till you make it? Just fake it till you make it? It's no fair because Penny saw the same presentation like three days ago. She's like, yes, he's going to say that next thing. Okay, so here's the thing about fake it till you make it. Okay, listen carefully. It's important. Just don't do that. Don't do that. This is no, you don't need to be fake ever. It's about trust, remember? It's about trust. You got to be real. But you don't need to fake it. If you don't have the confidence yet yourself, no big deal. You just lean into the team. Do you agree that there are leaders on your team who know these products backwards and forwards and who are just, what, a text away? So talk to your customers and say, hey, I'm, I'm newer, but I, the, I'm, I'm the t my team is, is expert, okay? And if you join me in this business, we'll both be mentored by the best together. I mean, this, these, this leadership is so good, they even bring the Teamsy guy in to do trainings. Right? Okay. All right. So chemistry, character, competence. I'm going to give you a principle on these three and then we'll move on to the fourth one. Here's the principle. When someone's going to do business, business with you, they only care about three things. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? These are not questions that are conscious. These are subconscious in the gut heart questions that people ask. Okay. And this is what you uncover when you build a relationship with somebody. This is what you develop. When people give you objections in the business, it's because these questions deep inside are not answered for them yet. Make sense? And what's the solution? Keep building that relationship. Keep investing in the relationship. Okay, next. Number four, consistency. We know how important consistency is to be successful, right? but it's actually the most important way to build trust. You guys have kids. How, how important is it to be consistent when raising your kids? And will they, will they or will they not exploit any moment you're not consistent for their advantage? Unbelievable, isn't it? Remember six months ago, you let me do it. Oh God, 
they never forget. Okay, consistency. Let's talk about this for a second. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. This is the principle. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. Is this true? Have you guys been told ever that you're inspiring? Has anyone ever said, man, you're I've been following you on Facebook or I've been following you on Instagram. You're so inspirational. I'm so inspired by your posts. Do you think that they don't realize you put your pants on one leg at a time just like them? They're inspired by your consistency. That's what's so inspiring. And it attracts people to you like a moth to a flame. They want to be near you. They want to be with you. They want to be part of what you're doing because it's so hard to be consistent. I got this principle from one of my favorite books. I always recommend it. Someday I'm going to hang out with Dr. Cialdini and he's going to give me a check or buy me lunch or something because I must have sold a million of his books. But this is a book that I recommend. This principle was lifted from. Here's the cover. It's called Influence. Okay, by Robert Cialdini. Great book. Highly recommend that. Put that on your personal development list, guys. Um, People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. That's enough about his book. I was going to keep going on it, but I can talk to you all night if I keep doing that good stuff. Are you consistent with your relationships? This is your checkup from the neck up. I want to know. I know you guys are products of the product. I know you're doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing in your business, but are you consistent with your relationships? Okay. So what I mean by this is, you know, for example, are you as consistent about staying in touch with people as you are about posting on social media? Do you think, do you believe that a great post on Facebook is the same as connecting with everyone that you're friends with on Facebook? Probably not, right? But sometimes we let that do the work for us. It's really important, guys, because you need to understand that people won't believe you till they see you. People won't believe you till they see you. What do I mean by this? I mean, you're sharing, let's, social media is a great example because we build our business there now, right? I mean, that's where people are. You're posting on social media, you're sharing your journey, you're sharing the business, with people and you're inviting them to join you and there are people who are watching you. It's, you're like a TV show that they can't take their eyes away from, right? But they don't believe you that you mean them. When you say join me, they don't believe you're talking to them. They think you're talking to somebody else. Why? Because they haven't heard from you since high school. Okay? You guys need to understand this, that relationship building is a contact sport. It's a contact sport. I don't mean hit them. I mean, you got to be in contact with people. You got to be in contact with people. There's no other way. And I know your time is scarce and I'm going to show you guys with Teamsy how you can actually be in contact with everybody on your list, which is crazy. Even if you have a huge list, it's doable, right? But I'll and I'll show you guys how to do that. You need a system for that. But here's the principle, important principle. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. In, um, investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. I'm almost done with this part. I'm going to jump into teams, you guys. Don't worry, but I just want to just really quick do something really quick. Wait, where's my thing? There it is. Okay, just really quick. Quick example of this principle. This is one of the most important principles there are, that I have for you, so I just need to kind of give you a little question. Have you guys ever received like a great card or note from somebody, maybe a spouse or a friend, you know, like the card where it's mostly white space and they filled it in with something heartfelt. You guys ever get a card like that? <laughs> How many of you are married? I hope you nodded or someone's in trouble, right? <laughs> okay. So when you get a card like that, right, it has an emotional impact. Anybody like me that's just a total baby, like you get those, you get all emotional when you get a great card. I'm like that. So you get a card like that, it has an emotional impact. And then after you've read it and you've, you've had this emotional connection with the person who wrote it, then you just crumple it up and throw it in the trash can, right? How many of you guys have a hard time throwing away those cards? How many of you have like a special box or drawer or like a place for, this, for the really good ones, right? And then if you move, it's like, oh, I have all these cards, but I can't throw them away. In fact, I was, I was talking to the other team the other day, if anyone remember this, that a lot of times when people pass away, what is treasured the most are the, are the cards and the letters that are left behind, right? Isn't that amazing how something like that can have a lingering impact over time? Now, let me ask you guys another question. Has anyone ever received one of these? This is a, this is a happy birthday card. It's a postcard. I got it from my insurance representative. You guys ever get one of these? Dentist, doctor, chiropractor right? It's nice. 
you remember my birthday. Great. It's nice. Now I, I got this and it looks like it's handwritten by the way, but it's not, it's not actually handwritten. It's handwritten printed. So when you, when you get these, do they go in that special place with the special cards or do you throw this one away? No problem throwing this away, right? This might not even make it in the house, right? The recycling bins on the curb, it gets there before you get it in the house. What's the difference? Why is this one not valuable? Now you guys already know because I've, I've baited you and led you there. There was no time invested in this. This took no time. He might not even know it went out. It's probably automatic, right? This, by the way, is why when people come to me and go, how come we don't use marketing automation in network marketing? I explain. Because automated marketing has no value to a relationship. Does that make sense, guys? Now, systemized contact is different. That shows people that you're consistent. And what do people like about consistency? They're attracted to it, right? And they think you're amazing. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit when I show you how to follow up 10 times, gasp, without throwing up on yourselves, how people will think you're amazing for that. And they'll think, they'll tell people, she's amazing. She's so on top of things. I'll show you guys that. I'll show you how to do that so they do that. This is, this is garbage because no time was invested. To build relationships, you have to invest time. And time is the most valuable thing we have. People respect it. Now, do you need to write handwritten cards to everybody all the time to make an impact? No. However, you should be doing that whenever you can because people will save a card like that forever. Isn't that amazing? But even just sending somebody a private message on Facebook as opposed to posting and hoping they see it is an investment of time in that person and it makes a big difference. Does that make sense? Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute how we're gonna leverage something like sending messages on Facebook to build relationships in a minute. I think I'm done with my presentation. I might have just that one more slide. Let's see here. All right, so here we go. We talked about this. Investing time, connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. You need a system. So now you understand how important it is to stay in contact one-on-one -on -one with people, but how in the world can you manage that in, in less than an hour a day? You need a system. You need a way to stay in contact with all your relationships, know when to contact them and when not to. So you're not just planning all the time, just you, you need to jump right in and do it. Also, you should know what to say so you don't spend all day trying to think about what to say and make sure that nobody ever falls through the cracks. How many of you guys have had people fall through the cracks? Oh my gosh, so many. So many, right? Okay, so now we'll get a system so nobody falls through the cracks. Okay, let's jump out of here. We'll jump into the actual system of Teams and show it to you guys. So now you guys have a little basic understanding of relationship marketing. You need to understand the heart of this system. The system I'm gonna show you now does all of those principles we just taught. It just kind of does it automatically for you. All you gotta do is bring the heart in 30 minutes a day. Where am I? There we go, Google Chrome. All right, so you guys are now looking at my Teamsy dashboard. Let me move your beautiful faces over here so you can see my screen. Stop putting it back over there, Zoom. Okay. All right, first and foremost, I want you guys to know that you can get a free trial of Teamsy. It's free for 30 days, 30 whole days, not 14 or seven or anything weird, a whole month free, no credit card required, no automatic billing at the end of your free trial. Nothing weird like that, guys. We just want you to go in and try it and really fall in love, okay? So go to teamsy.com and get your free trial started. And when you log in, make sure you choose Juice Plus and so you get the customized Juice Plus version, okay? I'm gonna take you through the setup wizard. When you first log into your free trial, you'll be inside a setup wizard, which makes it easy to set this thing up. I'll take you through it real quick. If you've dismissed the setup wizard like I have, you can get back to it by going to settings right here in the right corner. Okay, you know you're in the setup wizard when everything turns purple. <laughs> All right, so um, first thing you're gonna do is if, if you wanna opt into the Facebook Messenger tips, I recommend it. During your trial, we message you every day during your trial to give you tips on how to get the most out of it, okay? Um, it's great because we used to email those and you know you guys don't open emails, right? Not very often. So this is more helpful and you get the messages this way. Next thing. We're gonna do three things in setup. We're gonna set your income goal, okay? You're just, we're just gonna set your income goal. And then Teamsy will know, once you've given them the income goal, we'll know what to do to help you to achieve that on a daily basis, okay? We have like an algorithm that backwards engineers that. It's pretty cool. We'll also um, help you create a powerful why so that you'll always remember what you're working for. This is also a great tool for you with new, with new people coming on your team. You can help them create their why easily. 
Um, and then you're going to help get all your contacts in here, all in one place, organized, ready to go, systemized. How many of you guys still use like notepads and stuff like that? <laughs> and so if you use a notepad, you know that means you use like four notepads because the notepad you need is never there when you need it, right? Just a little quick story. When I was, when I was business coaching, you know, I had a customer once who was, she was a real estate agent and I was helping her organize her list of relationships to teach her how to build this kind of thing. This was long before Teensy. And she brought me her list and guys, it was a shoebox full of sticky notes and business cards. It wasn't even on anything. Isn't that crazy? And we made piles on the floor. That's how we prioritized her list. You guys, we're so far beyond that now. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. First thing we'll do is set an income goal. Just put a number in here, okay? I put 150,000 in here as my income goal. This is the income level I'd like to be at 12 months from now, okay? That may be an aggressive goal for some of you. That may not be an aggressive goal for some of you. Wherever you, where, whatever your goal is for 12 months from now, I, would, I just want you to stretch a little bit beyond it, okay? Now, those of you guys who are leaders and that are already making beyond six figures in your business now, you don't wanna put the total goal. You want to just put the increase. Okay. So like if you're making 250,000 now and you want to get to 400,000, then you put 150 in. You with me? Okay. Otherwise you're going to be talking to so many people. It's going to be crazy. Okay. So I put 150 in. Let's go to click next, continue. And now Team T's giving me an estimate, 4,348 connects. I'm going to connect with 4,348 people over the next year. Okay. Now, that seems like a lot, right? Probably to most people, but I had a pretty big goal too. I mean, 150, that's usually what somebody might do in three years. So I put it in one year and it's given me a good goal. But here's the thing that's cool about this. How do you eat an elephant? Anyone know this one? One bite at a time. Pat is really, Pat, I can tell that you do a lot of personal development reading. We're gonna give her a high five because I can just see her lips. She knows the answers to everything I'm saying. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have you guest star on my next one. Okay, so the next, the next page breaks it down for us, um, breaks it down into bite-sized chunks. So it takes that total number um, and it breaks it into three groups, prospects, customers, distributors, right? And then it breaks them down weekly, monthly, um, sorry, monthly, weekly, then daily. So now it's taking that huge number and it's telling me nine prospects a day, six customers a day, four distributors a day, okay? By the way, these numbers are based on a 260-day work year. So even though you'll see zeros on your days off, it's okay to take, the, take a day off here and there, okay? The reason we did that too is because we know um, how human beings work <laughs> and we still want you to hit your goal. Make sense? Okay, so it's recommending nine prospects. I'm gonna connect with them. These are connects. Okay, let me just explain quickly what a connect is. A connect is just reaching out to say hello and make their day. My goal is not to sell them or recruit them on a connect, not to cold invite them, gag, I don't like that. You know why I don't like that? Because I, because I would never presume to propose marriage before I've asked you out on a date. And I actually wouldn't presume to ask you out on a date until we had a conversation first. Are you with me? I mean, so anyways. So we're just gonna connect, start a conversation, make their day. We're gonna do that with our prospects and our customers and our distributors. We're gonna start, in this case, 19 conversations a day. We're just gonna start them, or try to. Not everyone will respond, right? Maybe we'll start 10 conversations every day this way. And then we've got a goal for invites. An invite, in this case, it's three. An invite is when somebody's shown some interest in the conversation, now we're gonna invite them to a three-way call, to an event, to try a product. With me? We're gonna invite them to coffee, whatever the case may be. An invite is where we're now proposing something to do with our business to them. So in this situation, we're creating, you know, we're, we're messaging 19 people a day. We're hoping to start 10 conversations. Out of those 10 conversations, three of them will, will progress to an invite and we'll send them an invite. Ads, these are new people that we're meeting and putting on our list, okay? We're just meeting new people, putting them on our list. Gotta put fresh water always in, always meeting new people on social media. It's easy to meet people now because you can go on social media and meet people, which is pretty cool. All right. You can change these numbers, by the way, to anything you want. They're just a suggestion. You just type over them. And whatever you decide to put in these boxes, when you click continue, that sets your dashboard up to your goals. So each one of you will have a different custom dashboard. Make sense? 
Okay. And you can change these at any time. I had a guy that um, <clears throat> he had a goal in there. His goal was 60,000. And he messaged me and he said, this is so easy. I just did my power hour in 12 minutes. I said, that's awesome, dude. I go, well, what's your goal? He goes, my goal is to be the number one. He's beach body coach. He goes, my goal is to be the number one male beach body coach. I said, you better set a, you better set a higher income goal then, because if you're getting done in 12 minutes, dude, it's going to take you a long time to be number one. Does that make sense? So he doubled it. He doubled it. And, um, I just got to tell you his story. His name's Rob. He's a 25 year old from Staten Island. And this month, it was his first month doing it. He signed up five distributors on his team this month. I'm super, I mean, he's over the moon. I'm super excited for him, um, but he's just going for it. It's pretty cool. Okay. Finding, and he's from New York city. So like, you know, people do not take any BS, right? <laughs> finding your why. Step two, finding your why. You got to understand why you're in this business. You guys need to understand this. People quit this business like crazy. Have you, have you encountered that? One out of two people quits in the first year. That's industry-wide. It's industry-wide. One out of two people quits in the first year. Why do people quit? Simple. People are quitters. Present company included. People are quitters. The only reason we don't quit is because we have a reason not to. We need a deep, powerful reason not to. I know you guys have heard people talk about your why. How many of you guys have written down why? Yeah. How many of you could actually recite it from memory right now? Got a couple. That's awesome. Okay, all of you will by the end of this day, hopefully. This is important. If you don't have a reason to, you're not going to persist through quitting points. The average person has a crisis of some sort every three months of their life. Right? Some are severe, but all of them are enough to set us back emotionally and to possibly create a quitting point. I call them quitting points. In coaching, we call them quitting points. Quitting points are those moments where people would naturally quit something. You need a reason why, okay? Once you have that why, you're bulletproof. Those little problems that come up, it's, they're so small compared to your why. Now I'm gonna demystify the why process for you. We've got a real simple process we built right into the Teams he set up wizard to help you kind of think your way through this, and you can lead your teammates through this too, okay? Let's go through it and I'll give you my story as an example. Obviously, each one of you has your own story. So these are the questions. And again, they're just to kind of jog your memory and get you thinking. They're just for you. Why did you become a distributor? In my case, I shared a little bit in the beginning. I, um, had an, I had a great health transformation myself. And people were asking me what I did. And I know, I know already that some of you guys have a similar story. People are going, man, you look great. What are you doing? And I would tell them all day long. And then somebody said, you know, you can get paid for what you're doing. And I said, sign me up for that. That makes sense. I signed up just because I really liked the products and I figured I might as well get paid for it. I didn't have a deep, meaningful why at first. Second question, what do you hope to accomplish? Okay. And when I was asked this question, it was easy. I, I'd like to make $500 a month extra money. That was it. I just wanted to make some extra money. Any of you guys sign up just to make extra money? Probably, right? And you have people on your team like that. It's not a deep enough reason to stick with it though, is it? Because extra means you can take it or leave it. Why is that important to you? Third question, why is it important to you? I wanted to save it. I wanted to make $500 a month extra and put it in the bank. That's what I wanted to do with it. Nobody asked me why I wanted to do that at the time, but I have to ask myself that with Teamsy. Why would, what would achieving this mean for you and your family? Or I'm sorry. Yeah, what would achieving this mean for you and your family? See, the thing is, is that I wanted to save that money because, well, a little bit backstory. Uh, I told you guys that I was in the coaching and consulting business. I primarily worked with real estate agents and mortgage professionals. Now, if you recall the Great Recession several years ago, those industries basically went on vacation for a year. <laughs> they got crushed. Um, I live in Southern California in this area. Nobody, nobody could sell real estate until they figured out how to move foreclosures because that's all that was available for two or three years were foreclosures, right? It was crazy time. And our business, we started losing customers like crazy. It was really scary. We laid off half the company. Eventually, I lost my job too. And you know, by God's good grace, we made it through that recession intact. We didn't lose everything like so many people did. 
but it was scary. We did lose all of our savings and we didn't save any money. We stopped saving money. We were just kind of hanging on by our fingernails. In fact, when I got to the point of writing down my why, it had been almost seven years that we had not saved a penny. So I'm thinking, you know, this, this little side gig, this little side hustle thing, if I could save $500 a month, put it in the bank, that would be really awesome. Now this next question, what would achieving this mean for you and your family? I instantly thought, man, if I saved enough, we could buy a new house. See, we had bought this small house and it was great. And we assumed that as our family grew, we would buy a new house. Well, when the, when the house went upside down, $250,000 on the mortgage, there was no moving out. And so my wife and I, we have four kids and a Rottweiler and literally every room in our house was people, animals, or toys. <laughs> there was nowhere to move. And I just dreamt of having a bigger house, you know, where I have my own office and things like that. So all of a sudden, guys, five minutes in, I've gone from, eh, I'll be a distributor for sure, to, wow, maybe we can move into a new house. I'm starting to dream. I'm starting to think a little bigger. You're with me? The next question, why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Why is that meaningful? How does that make you feel? I have to tell you guys, when I really analyzed the, you know, why buying a new home is meaningful, I couldn't really justify that it was. I mean, it just seemed kind of materialistic, right? I mean, the truth is, is that my parents grew up with four kids and a thousand square feet, <laughs> right? That's just the way it was done. But when I really started thinking about it, I realized something. And it was, you know, the deep stuff, the why stuff, it's here already. You just don't allow yourself to think it very often. We kind of protect ourselves from those deep thoughts. You ever notice that? Here's what I realized. It wasn't the house that was wrong. It was my family. It was my, fa my relationship with my family. See, I was working constantly to provide for my family and we were not getting ahead. Here for six years, I had been working and we hadn't saved a penny. And we lived pretty well but we weren't going anywhere. We were stuck. I got up every morning before the sun got up and left for work, kissed my kids goodbye while they're still in their pajamas, went to work, came back in the evening. They were already done with dinner in the bathtub, getting ready for bed. My relationship with my kids was I was the guy who said good morning and good night. My son was constantly calling me Mr. Lisa instead of daddy. That was the name of his teacher, which made sense. He spent much more time with this teacher than me. And I was, I realized that I was missing them growing up completely. I was going to miss the whole thing. And here I was in my career. I was respected, considered successful at the top of my career. There was nowhere else for me to advance. And yet I hadn't saved money in six years. Guys, I suddenly realized it's not just the house that I need, but I need to create a new life for my family. And my career is not cutting it. I'm stuck in my career. But this opportunity in front of me, this network marketing opportunity, wait a second, this is a way I could design the life I always wanted. How many of you guys feel that way? And realizing that changed everything in my mindset from 500 bucks extra to, you know what? I started thinking about my salary as extra money. My salary that I was getting for my job, that was my extra money. This was my business. And that mindset shift allowed me to write my first why statement. I'll share it with you guys. Um, hold on a second. Let me share the screen again. I took it off so I could look at you. I just like seeing your faces. I can't help it. Where'd you go, Zoom? Here we go. The last box is where you write your why statement. And you see in gray text, this is my why statement. It's kind of a sample. And you type over it your why statement. But this is the statement that I, this is actually what I wrote word for word. To create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and I'm full of energy. Once I wrote this down, by the way, you guys can read a lot of books on this, but if you re write this down in this last box, hit continue. It will save it to your dashboard of Teamsy. Every day when you come into Teamsy and do your power, hour, read it out loud to yourself. It'll start reprogramming your subconscious in ways that are very helpful to you being successful. Okay. But confronted with my why, it was hard for me to skip feeding my business that day. Make sense? It was hard for me to say, I don't feel like it. The, the three biggest things that will derail you in this business are boredom, lack of visible results, okay? And, um, and just not getting a response from people. It will make you, it'll make you wanna quit. 
I would look at this and go, I need to do this because I want to, I don't want to be worried about money anymore. I don't want to lose my job again. I want to be with my kids. It's 30 minutes. What am I crying about? Let's get this done. And when I wrote this down, you guys, everything changed. Um, I told Penny on the, on the last call, this is when I actually went to Home Depot and I ordered one of those um, sheds that they sell in front of Home Depot, had it dropped in my backyard. I ran an extension cord out there, built a desk and started building my business from a wood shed, a tool shed. I had Wi-Fi that you know could cover out into the backyard. And honestly, we called it the shed quarters and my shop office. I even had it at one point mapped on Google as um, Teamsy shed quarters because it was like, you know, all I needed was an internet connection and we built the business. In fact, if you go, if you go on our YouTube channel, Teamsy and dig through videos, you'll find me doing trainings in a shed. They're in there, right? That was only two years ago. Writing my why was the most important thing that I did. That's why I just spent 10 minutes on this in this little call, which the truth is I could skip this and you guys would be excited about Teamsy. But this is an opportunity for me to talk to you guys about this. And I know maybe I can make a little impact and inspire you to do it. So I hope you guys will do that. Otherwise, your chances of quitting are really, really good. Okay. Next. Last step, we're going to get all your contacts in. There's a couple of videos here that help you with it. You want to get your, um, go to your back office. First, get your first, your first level personally sponsored people in. Okay. Your distributors. Then you want to get all your customers in. Then you want to get your Facebook friends in. From there, any other list that you want to get in, you can bring in so that everybody's in one place. Make sense? But do it in that order. The reason why is your distributors and your customers are probably also your Facebook friends. So you want to get them, you want to get them in first so that you get all that contact info that you have in the back office in there. Facebook's only going to give you their name. Which, you, you know, if you're Facebook friends, all you need is a name because you can do everything through Facebook. You can send videos, audios, messages, whatever. But so that's why I gave it to you like that. So there's some videos here to help you do the import or also going, I'm going to skip the, you can skip out of that, that wizard at any point. Also over here on the left in Teamsy, there's a help center that's full of videos and FAQs and things to help you. Okay. So if you run into any trouble, look there. And then right here on the bottom, right, there's a help button. Guys, the reason I'm showing you this is because so many people will not use a system like this because they hit a little roadblock while they're doing setup and they get frustrated. It's like moving into a new house. How many of you guys have moved into a new house and you're all excited about moving into a new house? You got to unpack. Like moving is hard, but then you get to live there. Okay. You're going to love Teamsy. So don't get stuck. Get help. Find help here or ask us for help and we will help you. We will get you in, get you set up because we want you using this free trial like crazy and having a blast with it. Okay. All right, so there's one more step for setup I didn't show you, and that's when you bring a list in, it's gonna ask you to rank them. Kind of like you rank videos, you rank something on Amazon, right? Five stars. Let me show you what it looks like. So you find your full list on the team page by clicking team. This is your full list. And let's say you just wanted to look at, you know, prospects. Great. So rank mode looks like this. I'm gonna get there by going to this little menu, and it'll automatically do this when you do an import for you. Rank mode's like this, so now I can actually scroll my list and I can rank people just by clicking on them. You notice how everybody's a three star to start? We make them three to start because it's kind of the middle, and then you can, you can just rank them up or down. Now the ranks are important for two reasons. The functional reason is the rank determines how often you're gonna connect with them. And it's based on the concept that you're gonna speak to the best people the most, okay? You're gonna spend the most time with the best people. Here's, here's a coaching principle I will give you guys that is so important. If you've never thought about it, it's, you're, it's going to be like one of those ahas. Until you prioritize relationships, it's impossible to prioritize time. Until you prioritize relationships, it's impossible to prioritize time. That also smacks people in the face, especially when they're parents, when they're like, they got to work right now. It's like, wait a second. Have you prioritized your relationships? Right? Right? Okay. So that's what this is based on. Now, Everyone's a three to start. Let me, let me just tell you what these stars kind of mean, the guidelines on them. I'm going to click this question mark to show you that. A five star is somebody most likely to become a customer or distributor, or they're an existing customer distributor that's a rock star. They're five stars. They're coming up on your connect list every 30 days. Okay? Every, you don't have to set a follow-up or anything. Every 30 days, they come back and you connect with them. A four star, that's somebody likely to become a customer distributor with a little nurturing 
or they're the solid performers on your team already. They're going to show up on your, on your connect list every 60 days. Okay. We call it your up next list every 60 days. Three stars are every 90 days. They could go either way. You don't know what the three star. That's why we default everybody to three to start. Okay. Two stars are getting colder. They show up every 120 days. So even a th two star who's cold, you're still talking to them three times a year, right? Still connecting with them three times a year and moving that relationship forward. One stars are the cold, we call them the, the deep, deep freeze. They're on your list, but they're not coming up on the up next. They're just there. You can look them up anytime. Okay. With me. You don't have to remember those. You just click on these little question marks next to the lists and that pops up again, okay, anytime. All right, also this, is, this team page is where you do your imports from. See that little import button, bam. Okay, now we're ready, we're set up. Let's go ahead and crush a power hour. Oh look, see it says I haven't completed my why. That's because I didn't write anything in that box, that bottom box, see? So let's put a why there, pretend this is my why. Okay, we'll skip my wizard. Now you notice that little thing's gone. Isn't that helpful? Wow, cool. And there's my Y down there. See, <laughs> so I can read it. Okay, let's crush a power hour together. There's a couple things I'm going to show you on the dashboard. The who's up next module is right in the center of your screen. That is where we do all of our work. This tells us who's up next to connect with. There's four lists, prospects, customers, distributors, follow-ups. Okay. And we're gonna work down our list. The lists only give us five names at a time so we can't get overwhelmed and so we can't go skipping too much, right? Keep us focused. Your, it, the dashboard is designed to help you focus and not mess around. You guys know what I'm talking about. Not mess around and then your hour's done and you talk to two people. We know how it is. Okay, um, we're gonna do that. And the left side's your list, the right side is where we log the conversation that we're having with them. Now, before we go do that, I just wanna show you up here the today's activities. This is our goals that we set. It's right here every day. Our goals that we set in this example were 10 prospects, connect with six customers, connect with four distributors on our team, invite three people, add three people. As we complete activities, these numbers will change. It gives us instant feedback on how we're doing towards our goal. Team Z is based on the power hour and it's based on winning the day. You guys have goals for the year? Anyone have goals for the year? But you only get one day at a time, right? Focus on winning today, that's it. Oh, but Eric, I, I just totally screwed up and didn't do anything in my business for two weeks. I must stay up all night long now and connect with 700 people. No, that's crazy. You wouldn't do 14 workouts if you haven't worked out in two weeks. You do today. You with me? Because if you connect with 1,400 people over the weekend, guess what you have to do next week? You got to talk to 1,400 people all week. You, there's just no way. Just win today. With me? Okay. Now, um, up here also is a search bar. So if somebody's on this list and you want to log something, you just look them up. You just look them up. You add somebody new after you brought your list in, you just click this little purple add guy right here and you add people in. Okay, with me? Super easy. By the way, we have a mobile site that works great on your, on your smartphone, so you can do all this. Once you've set it up, your bulk imports, you can do everything on your mobile phones, which is really cool. You can do this stuff if you guys work from your phone instead of desktop. Works great. So the first person on my list is Jay. I'm gonna connect with Jay. I'm just gonna say hello. I just wanna make her day. We call it the make someone's day mindset. It's one of our hashtags, make someone's day mindset. But if you're like me, you may have no idea what to say to Jay. I mean, I have no idea. I haven't talked to her in ages. Anybody ever feel that way? Or it's like, who's Jay? How many of you guys do that? Who's Jay? We're Facebook friends? <laughs> when do we become free? You're looking at the thing going, do I, how do I know you? Okay, don't worry about that. You're Facebook friends for a reason, even if you don't remember it. Okay? If you don't remember it, it's probably because they wanted to be friends with you, which means they still want to hear from you. You with me? So we're gonna message Jay. Now, if you don't know what to say, I don't want you to spend all day trying to figure it out. You just go right down here into the contact box and hit, click on scripts right there in the bottom. And we've got some great kind of conversation starters for you. Okay, I'm gonna to go to Facebook because I'm gonna message her on Facebook. Here's one right here. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. Simple, right? Guys, this, this particular one here, I've sent like 10,000 times. It works so great. Um, here's another one for the people that you just, like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> this is the one I would send. Hi, Jane, I saw you cross my Facebook feed, and I thought I'd say hello. How are you? Hope your day is awesome. 
Now, I'm just gonna copy that script to my clipboard, and I've got Facebook open in another window, okay? So I'm gonna jump over there. I always tell people, I tease them, I say, hey, don't post anything or message me between five and seven, or it's gonna be live on the internet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna look up Jay, and I'm gonna send her a message. Okay, and I'm just gonna paste that message in. Oh, I forgot to change her name. There it is, boom, look at that. Hi Jay, just saw you cross my Facebook pay feed and thought I'd say hello, how are you, Jay's awesome, sent, bam. Message sent through Messenger. You do have to send the messages through Messenger, you guys, because Facebook doesn't let anybody play in their sandbox. And Facebook Messenger is going to become, it's already the number one communication tool on the planet, and it's going to be five times more important next year than it is this year. Um, pretty soon, people will be doing their transactions and paying their bills through Messenger. All kinds of crazy stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just going to paste that message in here to log it. That was a Facebook message. I'm just logging. This is my CRM. I'm logging the message that I connected with her. Watch what happens when I click Log Connect. My list moved up. She's gone. I have a one up there on my scoreboard. Now I'm going to go to Sue, do the same thing. There's Sue. Okay. Can you, people go, well, don't you go, to their, don't you go to their page and see what they're up to and everything before you do it? I don't. I'll tell you why. I'll do that when they respond, when I have a conversation. I'm just trying to say hello right now. I don't need to know what's up to say hello, right? So look, boom. I just want to be efficient, fast, leverage my time. Sent that one, great. Okay, I'm going to log it in Teamsy. Now, one pro tip you can do, and I just, somebody just taught me this the other day, that's a Teamsy superstar. So I'm going to show you that on my, my third one is you can actually put the um, put the script first in Teamsy so you get the name corrected there so you don't accidentally send the wrong name in Facebook, which I have done. I have sent people the wrong name and I don't even worry about it because I go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I just sent the wrong name. That's so silly. You know I have four kids. I do the same thing to them all the time. Just call me Susan if it makes you feel better. I'm glad that we're connecting. I'm glad we're talking. People usually laugh. Look, who's next? Penny. We'll do the same thing. Penny, you knew I had to use you. It's my example. There she is, I'm gonna send her a message. I didn't change the name though. But you guys see how quick this is? How quick is this? Do you see how I could do 10 people in 10 or 15 minutes? It's even faster on a phone because I don't have to, I can just do stuff with my big thumbs. Ah, Penny just got a message for me. Logged. Log. See, I'm already at three and I need to get to 10. It's not gonna take me long. When I get to 10 prospects, then I'll go to the next list, customers. I'm gonna start messaging my customers. Here's one thing, guys. Two, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips right now. Work left to right, don't go out of, don't go out of order. And don't answer messages till you're done sending messages. Okay, because you'll get sidetracked. Now we're gonna connect with customers the same way. Look, Abigail's there. I'm gonna to go to scripts to pick up some customer scripts now. How cool is this? Here's a congratulations on great results. Does that happen? Yeah, you're doing so great. I'm proud of you. Congratulations on, oh my gosh. Um, how about this one? Hi, John, how are you enjoying the whatever products he's using? Please send me an update. Let me know how I can be of help. These are so simple and effective, you guys. Here's my favorite one, though. Just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day. You can take these scripts. You can make them your own. You can add your emoticons. But they're, these are just simple, they're not salesy, they put the relationship first, and they, put, they impart the right emotion when you send them. Make sense? You gotta be in touch with your customers. I talk to people all the time who don't stay in regular contact with their customers. You guys, this is so crucial. A, it's your duty to be in touch with them, right? This is your business. But you don't need me to tell you that. The second reason is, when you're in touch regularly with customers, they will order more product. If they're on a recurring order, they will stay on it longer. Their retention will go up. This is true. A lot of people avoid customers because they're afraid they'll create a, a cancellation. That's nuts. If somebody's thinking of canceling, they're going to cancel whether or not you, they're going to cancel, especially if you don't talk to them. But if you do talk to them, they can say, I'm thinking of canceling. And you can go, why would you do that? And you can educate them on products, or maybe they don't have the right product. Maybe they need a different product. You got to be in touch. If you're in touch with them, your volume will go up. If you teach your team to do this, 
the whole team's volume will go up and everybody wins. You guys win in the business and the customers now have more of these great products. You, you hear me? Here's the, the most important reason to be in touch with customers. And I could do a full hour training on this, but I'm not going to go too deep into it. But the, how many of you guys right now are just thinking, man, I just wish I could just get like three new customers this week. Wouldn't that be great? But I'm not sure where. Anybody feel that way? The best source for the best and the best and hottest source for a new customer is your current customer. There's no better thing. Guys, I can train you all day on social media strategies and things like that. Your current customer is the best source for a new customer. Why? Human beings love to talk about things they like. Is that true? Do you guys, how many have a cust, at least one customer that likes the products? Okay, that customer is talking about your products right now to people they know. Now, do you have the names and contact information of those people they're talking to yet? How many of you guys have those? And this is like a duh moment, right? Like, duh. They're talking about it already. So you just need to be in touch with them. You need to let them know. Hey, you know, if you ever come across anybody who'd like to learn more about Juice Plus, do you ever, do you ever come across anybody like that? Yeah. Um, in fact, can you think of anybody that maybe you, you've already talked to about it that might be interested in learning more? Okay, awesome. You, you can, perfect. Well, would you mind just introducing them to me? Like just do it on Facebook Messenger or group email or something. Whatever's easiest for you. Just introduce me to them. I'll get them some information. It's that easy. Don't ask people to refer you. Don't give people business cards. They throw them in the trash or they forget or they don't have them when they need them. Ask them to introduce you. Please introduce me. Okay? And then I'll take it from there. I'll get them the information they need. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you're building trust, as I've been teaching you tonight, and you're focusing on building trust, you'll have no problem asking for introductions, and your people will have no problem introducing you. Why? Because they trust you. Now, guess what? The person you're getting introduced to is the best form of lead in the world. Why? Because they trust you. Why do they trust you? Because their friend trusts you. Make sense? This is how business was built from the beginning of time. We're just using social media. We're systemizing it. We're bringing it to the modern age. And it feels great, doesn't it? Okay, next. Next, you're gonna to talk to your distributors. You're gonna jam down the distributor list. You're gonna connect, in this case, four distributors. Just send them a message. Hey, Claire, just checking in. How are you? What's going on? Tell me what's going on in your business. How can I help you today? I'm proud of you. You crushed it this month. Just wanna let you know I was thinking of you. You're awesome. Simple, right? And there's scripts. We have scripts, by the way, if that doesn't roll off your tongue. We've got scripts for you to help you, okay? But it's called Team Z for a reason. You gotta build that team. You gotta build that team. You can't just have a Facebook group or, or hope to do a Zoom call and that you're gonna build community. It's the same thing. People don't believe you till they see you. They want that relationship with you. Make sense? Okay. Do you guys see how in this case we could have talked to 20 people in 30 minutes? We could have sent 20 messages in 30 minutes. You see that? Done. Now I've got one more list, follow-ups. In an ideal world, these first three lists will take you 30 minutes to send the messages. And the last three, the last list will take you 30 minutes to send messages to. Because as you're building this up and, and put adding three invites a day, you're filling your follow-ups list. Let me show you how this works. So I sent a message to my prospect, Penny. She seems like she might be good at this. I'm hoping. She's, I mean, she seems like she's got a knack for this. So I've, I've talked to her, um, sent her the message, how are you, whatever. She's messaged me back. I'm great. Oh my gosh, great to hear from you. It's been, what, 25 years, you big jerk? Sorry, Penny, but I'm, you know, I just saw you on Facebook today that I started a conversation. So we're talking, catching up. What are you up to? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'm doing this. You're doing that. And then she, she says, you know, I've been following you on Facebook. You, by the way, you won't, you'll be surprised how many people you think don't even know who you are will say, I've been following you on Facebook. I've been watching you on Facebook. And um, it's really been inspiring. Oh, really? You think so? Well, I have to tell you, it's been so rewarding for me. So this is the kind of conversation I might be having with Penny. Well, tell me about that. Well, you know, it's not only do I get to be home with my family now, I, I'm my own boss, right? Flexible hours, but really it's the mission of helping people get healthy, helping people improve their lives. It's so fulfilling. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I want something like that, right? Oh, well, listen, Penny, why don't we set up a call where we can talk a little bit more about it? And in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll get my upline who knows like everything and outs of the business to come on and we can talk a little bit deeper and you can get some more information on it. She's like, oh, that'd be great. Right? 
So great, let me set it up. Uh, I'll message you in a minute. I'll email you in a minute the details when she's available and we'll set up a three-way call. Perfect, great, perfect. So now I'm gonna invite Penny to get on a three-way call with me. Are you guys with me? So I didn't go, hi Penny, I haven't talked to you in 25 years. Would you like to get on a three-way call to learn about this incredible business opportunity I'm doing with? Doing? <clears throat> no, we talked, we got caught up, there was some interest, found, you know? And a lot of times, maybe it might take several conversations before we get to that point, right? Okay, so let's assume it did. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna log that in, in um, Teamsy by looking her up in my lookup bar. You can look people up by a little piece of their name, email, or phone number. Okay. I'm gonna click connect because I'm gonna now log this invite. I'm gonna send her this, I sent her an email and it was an invite to a, a three-way call. Okay. So now right here where it said connect, where it said invite, I've now changed it from connect to a three-way call. So it's not just a connect, it's actually an invite. And there's a few different options here that you guys told us you do the most, okay? Great. But before I send it, I need to set a follow-up, right? I gotta follow up after this. And so I'm gonna set the follow-up for tomorrow because let's say we're having the call today. I'm gonna set the follow-up for tomorrow, okay? If I don't set the follow-up, she will just flow back into my Teamsy flow and I won't see her on my up next for another 30 days. That's not good, right? So I gotta set the follow-up. This moves her to that follow-ups list on the dashboard with me. So I log that connect. Now the invite has been logged. When I go back to the dashboard, you'll see I've got an invite now logged, okay? Now, when I go to my follow-ups list tomorrow, you'll see there's my follow-up set. And it's yellow, which means it's not due yet. When they're red, they're due. So when you come to your follow-ups list, you'll see green, you don't have to worry about them. Yellow are tomorrow, and then all the red ones are due today, for those of you guys who are color coordinated. So tomorrow when I do my, my power hour, I connect with prospects, customers, distributors, then I work on my follow-ups list. I'm gonna work down my follow-ups list. In this case, it's Penny. She's there, I'm gonna send her a follow-up. Now, just real quick, how am I doing on time, Penny? Good. We're good still? Keep going, guys. You guys want me to keep going? How many of you guys want to learn how to follow up without being annoying? <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to teach you right now. So we know the fortunes in the follow-up, right? Yes. Do you guys know that 80% of all sales happen between the 7th and 10th follow-up? Some of you guys are nodding. You've heard that before. I'm going to say it again. For those of you who didn't, you can write it down. 80% of all sales happen between the 7th and 10th follow-up. Couple things you can be encouraged by that. All sales, not just yours. Okay? Because this isn't about you or anything that's wrong with you. This is how people are. Okay? So, 80% of all sales happen between the 7th and 10th follow-up. How many follow-up 10 times? Just, like, always follow-up 10 times. Anyone? I see one hand up there. Speed the leader, speed the team. Okay. And I, and I can guess why you don't follow up 10 times by how many hands jumped up when I said, who wants to learn how to do this without being annoying? Because you don't want to bug people. You don't want to be a pest, right? I'm going to teach you how to do that. But first, you got to have a mindset shift. You have to have a mindset shift. How many of you believe in these products? You can believe, you believe they can change someone's life. Yeah. And how many of you believe in this business opportunity? This business opportunity also can change people's lives forever. Okay, great. And you guys acknowledge that the way to help those people change their lives is to get them to sign up and go, go for it, right? Okay, so if you understand that 80% of them won't do this unless you follow up seven to 10 times and your heart is to help people do this, then you have to accept the fact that the follow-up is the only tool you have to actually help people. That's why I always say this, guys, write this down. Following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love. If you love people and want to help them, you have to follow up with them because they won't get the help unless you do. How many times have you had to repeat things to your kids before they figured it out? They still haven't figured it out, right? You're not going to stop. Can you imagine if you told your kids three times and they didn't figure it out and you said, they must not be interested in learning that, forget it. Right? <laughs> but that's what we do in our business, don't we? Okay, so here's the thing I want you guys to understand. Two principles so you never be annoying. And then I'm going to explain why people don't respond. Two, two principles so you're never annoying are these. Let me go back to speaker view so that when you see the recording, I'll be bigger. First one is this. Um, never ask someone to do something in your follow-up. 
Never ask someone to do something in your follow-up. Kimberly, I'm looking at you right now. If I called you and left you a voicemail right now that said, hey, Kimberly, it's Eric. Call me back, please. Is that annoying? Kind of, right? Like, why didn't you just tell me what you needed? Why didn't, first of all, why are you calling me in the middle of dinner and ringing my phone? Why didn't you just text me a question? Right? I was actually on, um, I'm in a, in a mentoring group for business owners and um, the speaker was phone rang while, while she was speaking and she goes, why are you calling me? Just text me and slammed her phone down. And I laughed because I was like, that's exactly what I'm training people all the time. She actually did it like that. Like she was so mad about it. Guys, don't ask them to do anything in the follow-up, okay? That's the first one. You don't need to give them a call to action because you've already had the conversation with them. They already know what the call to action is. Make sense? Second principle is this. Keep your follow-up short and sweet. Send it in a text format. Like Facebook Messenger is my favorite, but you can send a text message too. It needs to be short enough they can read it on the lock screen of their phone without opening the message, right? Or even in the notifications. They don't want you to know they've seen it yet. Why? Because they're not going to respond to you yet. Are you with me? Do you guys do that? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Okay, those are the two things. If you do that, you will not be annoying and you can follow up a million times. You can follow up a million times and people will not be annoyed. They will understand that you're just there to help. Now, I'm going to give you guys, how many of you guys would be excited if I told you that I wrote 10 follow-up scripts for you, put them in Teamsy for you, for you just to use? So I've got 10 follow-up scripts that you can just copy and paste. You can put your little, your little flair on them, but they're there for you, okay? And what will happen is this. Most people, will not res most people guys, will not respond to the first five or six. No response at all. Have, has, have you guys ever experienced that? And you think, do they not like me? Or I guess they're not interested. Or what a jerk. Or what a flake. Or we go there, right? All these different things. I'm here to tell you most people, great people, people who think you're great, who love you, who think the products are great, who think the opportunity is awesome, they won't respond still five or six times. Why? That's just the way our brains are worked. How many of you guys, have, I just listened on audio to the five second rule, Mel Robbins. Anyone ever do that book? The same, the same psychology that she discovered in her research is what I'm talking to you guys about. As soon as people get your follow-up message, they see it and it's done the way we designed it just to be uh, kind of a make their day moment. They see it and they reconnect to the hope and excitement they had when they talked to you about the opportunity and they go, Oh yeah. And then boom, Within a second or two, their subconscious mind takes over and gives them an excuse why they can't act on it right now. It's like, I need to respond to Eric right now, but the baby just threw up on the dog again, and I got to go handle that, right? And then it's gone. And the next day, they get another follow-up. Oh, yeah, and something else happens. The next day, you know, a couple days pass, they get another follow-up. Something else happens. This is normal. It's because their subconscious mind is scared of change, scared of of not being safe, scared of not being secure. And what you are proposing is all of those things. Does that make sense? The reason why people buy after eight to 10 is because the repetition reprograms that subconscious to like handle it and deal with it. So you guys are loving them. Through, you have to love people through this process that all of their wiring is keeping them safe, but safe also means stuck. You guys with me on this? Boom, boom. Let me show you in Teamsy how easy this is. And we're going to jump into questions because I've been talking to you too long. I can't help it though. I told Penny. She goes, how long is it going to be? I go, it's supposed to be 45 minutes to an hour, but sometimes I go off. All right. So now I'm following up with Penny. I'm on my follow-ups list. Now I'm going to go to scripts. Check this out, you guys. Follow-up number one. Boom. Just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? I love this follow-up, by the way, because it does a few things psychologically. Just checking in is a non-threatening thing, right? Following up sometimes sounds salesy. Just checking in like I promised I would, like I promised I would. I'm keeping my promises. I'm making deposits in your trust account still. You can trust me. With me? What questions do you have for me? It's all about you, not about what I need. Two sentences. It does all that, right? Same thing. I'm going to send this script to her. Boom. I'm going to copy that script, right? This time we'll do the pro tip. We'll do it in Teamsy first so I get the name right. Okay, we're going to copy that script. 
get it all set to go. I'm gonna to go to Teamsy. We're gonna send it to her. Don't send money. We're not at that stage yet. You gotta be careful, it's right there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna send that script. Okay, now when I'm gonna log it in Teamsy, I need to make sure, wait, that was a Facebook message. I need to make sure I set the next follow-up. Always set the next follow-up. If you don't set a follow-up, she'll fall off the follow-ups list and go back into the flow. You don't want that, you wanna keep her there. Okay, so I'll set the follow-up list, log it, boom. Tomorrow when I come back to my follow-ups list, I'm working down my follow-ups list, I'm going down the list, I get to Penny. Hmm, where was I on this? I can go to activity right here and see my, my conversations. Oh, okay, I just sent the first one. I'll go to scripts, grab the next one, okay? Number two, there's number three. There's number four, guys, these are so great. Look, here's number five. This is because at number five, they're still not answering, but they are starting to feel a little guilty about it. Hi, Jane, I hope you're doing well. I'm here when you're ready. So powerful. Look at number six. Number six is where I expect to kind of jog a response. Hi, Jane, I know you were excited about getting started and I promise to be here to help you along the way. Do you have any questions for me? Do you see how we put this on where our heart is? Okay. Number eight, I like this one too. This one's really effective. This is usually where I used to make the sale. Hi, Jane, I know life can be really hectic. I hope I'm not turning into a pest. I'm just trying to follow up and be present when you're ready. Let me know if I can help. Okay, these scripts are all in there for you guys. There's 10 of them. Um, I, I challenge you guys just to try all 10 of them. Just, okay. So now I'm talking to Penny, eight or nine times in. She's now ready. I go and I look and she signed up. She came in as a distributor. She's ready to go, great. Here's how I'm gonna finish her off in Teamsy. I'm gonna look her up to go to her full record. Okay, I'm gonna log the sale that she you know, did her application and became a distributor, so now I know. And I'm gonna move her from prospect on member type here over to distributor and that she's personally sponsored, okay? Now she's moved over from prospects over to my distributor list. That's how you do it. Just do it every day. Make sense? Okay. Um, what questions do you guys have? I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for questions. If you, um, if you have one, just unmute and ask away. I have a question. Um, I was kind of snooping on the app store, looking for the Team Z app, so is, and I don't see it. Um, is it under something different, or do you recommend setting up the Team Z um, uh, hard, like, computer program, and then, and then, it doesn't import into an app from there. Great question. Does that make sense? Yeah, it totally does. We don't have a we don't have a mobile app, but we have a mobile website that works like an app. You okay. won't find it in the app store. The only thing that you have to do on a desktop is bulk import. So if you have like the list from the back office or your Facebook friends list, because phones, the technology on phones doesn't handle it yet. It's getting close though, because you know, um, like iPhone has files now on it, so it's getting close to being able to do that maybe the next year or so we'll do Thank that you. Way. but let Thank me show you. it to you real quick kimber uh wait i have to share this i got my phone here so it's going to pop up my phone in a second i get the spinning rainbow wheel right now hold on there it is okay all right so i've got an iphone and so i've got teams actually saved on my dashboard you see it right there in the middle and that's going to bring up my Teamsy account. I'll have to look at my face. You can set it so it's always logged in. You don't have to log in every time. Okay, so there's my Teams account on my phone. And I can do stuff here. I can connect with people. I can do invites. Okay. This, this, is, this defaulted to a different version. It's not the Juice Plus version, but you guys can still get the idea. I can go in here and I can get scripts. So I can do it all mobile. How cool is that? Right, and copy my script. And then what I can do is I can just toggle over to Messenger. I've got it open here somewhere. Right, I can toggle over to Messenger. Okay, there's Penny, so we'll, we'll send her a message. I'll show you how easy this is. Penny, you're gonna be like, do we have a real conversation in there somewhere? See how easy that is to send it over? I mean, I didn't change the name or anything, but you get the idea. And then you just toggle back to Teamsy. Do your logging, boom, 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 done. Pretty cool. Look, I can't even tell you. I mean, just so you guys know, because the question comes up, I'm not a builder in any network now because I support so many networks. I don't want you guys ever to worry about that, so I'm not doing it. But I mean, I used to go pick up my kids from school. You know, you're sitting in that line. How many of you guys pick up your kids from school? You're sitting in that line. It's like a parking lot. You can connect with 15 people. 
It's <laughs> with your phone. It's awesome. Okay, what are the questions, guys? I have a question. Um, when you were doing the follow up, do you have to um, do the follow up like the day after or like right away, or do you want to do it like five, ten times in a row, if, even if they don't? You know what I'm saying? I, or how, how would you suggest that? No, you yeah, you can set a follow up for any time frame. You can do one, two, three, four days, or you can do a custom date. Um, and it's really up to you. Have to use your own discernment on how much is too much. But I do recommend three days in a row after you've invited somebody. Three days in a row. There's a lot of there's a lot of science behind that. That's you're closest to the conversation, and then after those three days, you might back it off to every few days. You know, again, use your discernment with it. But you don't want to. Most of us will err on the side of being too cautious. If that makes sense, we'll get too passive. You don't want to get too passive. You want to follow up and just think of it like this. I'm not pestering her. I'm fulfilling my promise to help her. Make sense? Okay. I mean, I would hope that if someone, if I'm pestering them, they would tell me and then I would just flag it as, okay, I'm not going to pester. I'm not going to call them anymore. You know, if, if, I'm, if I don't get a, uh, an answer back, then I'm not pestering. I'm going to continue on, you know? Yeah. Well, just one little thing that I always, I always teach my team to do, um, like with customer service, for example, is if somebody misunderstands your intention, yeah. I call it clarifying your heart, you know? So if somebody misunderstands your intention, like, are you just trying to get a sale? Or you're just trying to, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I'm really sorry if I gave you that impression. Last thing I would want is for you to think that, you know, you need to know my heart is to help you. And you told me that you were interested. And I promised I would stay in touch to help you. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm really sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. Like just immediately clarify your heart with people and let them know. I used to tell people all the time, I'm sorry you feel that way. Like, yeah, I mean, I would appreciate your support of my business, but you're, I'm not following up with you 10 times for the $30 commission I'm going to get from this. I'm following up with you 10 times because I truly believe this can be life-changing for you. So here, here's another thing. Like I don't have time to go into this deep. This, this is Penny's job. You got to believe in what you're doing more than they do. You got to believe that what you're doing is, is the thing. You know what I mean? And you have to believe that if they say no, it's going to be detrimental to them and the quality of their life. And so if you care about them, you got to like at least try to, you got to at least try to communicate that as lovingly as you can. You know, not like you need to lose weight or you're going to die. But I really, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Any other questions? I do have one more. I'm sorry. One more. I, should, I should have told you guys that. Let me just tell you really quick. After the free 30 days, it's $29.99 a month. Okay. So basically for less than a dollar a day, you're getting your own personal assistant to help you run your business. Okay. We give you the free month because we don't have any, we don't have any worries that you won't generate income that first month to pay for your team. In fact, a lot of you will be so excited. You probably want to do a year in advance, save a little bit of money, but it's $29.99 after the first month. And I'm going to give you guys a couple action steps real quick, and then we'll take a couple more questions. Your first one is the, is the easiest. Go do the free trial. Okay. Go do the free trial. Teamsy.com 30 day free trial. You can even say your name is Mickey Mouse and, the, and it, your email address is Mickey at mouse.com. I don't care. Though you'll miss out that way because you won't get emails from me and won't know about webinars and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't care. Just go use it. But get a success partner to do Teamsy with you. Okay? Pick somebody on your team, sideline sister, downline, whatever, upline. Pick somebody to do a, do a 30-day success partner deal with you. Hold each other accountable to doing it. You'll get so much more out of it. And here's what I recommend you do. When you complete your dashboard, you're going to get this 100% you crushed it little high five from us. Screenshot that, send it to your partner every day. Guys, my partner, we sent a message to her tonight. My partner back in my Beachbody days was Sue McDonald. She works for Teamsy now. She used to message me at like nine o'clock at night, her Teamsy dashboard, and I used to get so irritated because I hadn't done mine yet. Right? But guess what? Do you think I would go to sleep? No, I would get my phone in bed. My wife's like, what are you doing? I'm like, teams each messaging people, you know? And I would just send those 20 messages, send the screenshot to Sue, go to sleep. And I would wake up in the morning and then and I would have 50 conversations to continue, right? That will help getting a success partner. And then the last little piece I'm going to give you guys is a five-day challenge. Just a little five-day challenge because your goals might be, 
you know, your goals might be modest, they might be aggressive, I don't know. But at some point in your trial, I want you to take five days and take this five day challenge. I want you to connect with 100 people in five days. That's 20 a day. That's the example I showed you today, 20 a day. Five days straight so that you can feel the momentum. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna feel overwhelmed by it. You're gonna feel overwhelmed by it and you're gonna go, how could I do this every day? But I'm just telling you guys, with the system and the organization, you get better at it. And there's a confidence that comes with having people talking to you about your business all the time, constantly. And having that buzz and that pipeline full and you're constantly talking. Because when you need a sale, everybody knows it. But when you've got like 15 prospects coming right now on your follow-ups list, it's like, Hey, I'm going to work with five people this month. Is it going to be you, right? You know, it just gives you a different confidence level. And this will help you do that if that makes sense. Okay. What else, guys? Any other questions? I, I have one more. I do have one customer who's not on Facebook. So is there a, a way to maybe send them a text? Yeah, send them a text. No, you can communicate with people any way you want. Okay. I use Facebook as an example. It's my favorite way to communicate. But yeah, like if you don't have Facebook, the next best thing is text. Um, or not even Facebook. I mean, some people talk on other Snapchat, Instagram, other networks. Yeah. Social net, social media networks are the best. Then text. Then, you know, you can email. Email is the worst um, because people don't read most of their emails. So but text message is good. But if all you have is an email. So if someone asked me this the other day, well, all I have is emails on some of these people. Great. I would email them right away and say, hey, here's my URL for Facebook. Let's get friended on Facebook so we can stay in better contact with each other because I know you don't read all your emails. I mean, and I might send that email periodically to people I only have emails on. I'd try to do something, try to find their phone, or I would take that email. Here's the other thing I would do, even before that. Take the email address you have, put it in your search bar on Facebook and see if it comes up as a Facebook uh, account. Sometimes they, send, they actually use that same email address, which is great. You get lucky about half the time with that. And then you just send them a message. Hey, I friended you here so we could stay in better contact. You know, if you have a group for your customers too, something on Facebook, a community that you've built, that's another reason. I friended you here because I want you to take part in this community. Make sense? Okay. I cannot believe how quiet my kids are being. They're gonna, I'm gonna have to take them to frozen yogurt tomorrow or something. It's like so quiet right now. It's great. Okay. Any other, <laughs> anyone else? Okay. So I have another question. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Does Team Z, I, you've been talking a lot about social media and I'm, I'm kind of wavering between something was brought up a couple of weeks ago on something that they insinuated that um, getting back on the phone was the way to go. Um, but it sounds like the most success that you have found from your, Team Z customers is all social media, all texting, et cetera. Um, is, there a, is there anything that you've seen that shows that phone contact is also just as successful? Let me ask you a question, Kimber. Would you prefer me to text you or call you? Text me. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Is, it, is cold calling still effective? Yes. It's still effective, but but it's a different approach. It's a different approach. Okay, cool. Does that make Thank sense? You. So totally. every organization, every major organization, and I'm not I don't know anything about the Juice Plus corporate organization. So I'll just exclude them, but I'll say every other corporate organization for network marketing, real estate, um, any major organization with salespeople will try to push the old school cold calling, pound the phones, go out and have trade show. They'll try to do the stuff that they know has worked in the past because there's no risk. But the problem with that guys is that it's not, it's not as efficient and it doesn't, it doesn't like for me, it doesn't fit my personality or my personal philosophy because I don't want to put, do things to people. I don't want them to do to me. There's actually a rule that states that somewhere. Right. So that's just me. So um, if some, if a sales trainer from a major organization said, Kimber, you need to be pounding the phones, it works. It does work. Every sales approach gets results. Okay. I'm just proposing there might be a better way to do it, a way that feels better. And actually the truth is, is it's more efficient because 
you can send messages so quickly, you could be talking to 20 people at the same time on your phone. Make sense? So, all right, any other questions? I have a question. So after the 30 day free trial, do you get an alert that says you need to make a payment to continue to keep all your information or how does that work? Yes. Yes. It, you get like this thing that pops up on the dashboard that says, and you get emails and you get messages. We make sure you know, and there's just a link. You can click it to go set up, put in your payment information if you want to continue. Otherwise okay. it just closes after 30 days. Your account just closes and shuts down. You can come back at any time though. And reopen it oh, okay. we'll there we we'll keep it for six months um, so you will get that little those little messages throughout now you can also if you guys are already in a free trial you can go in at any time you go to settings and then billing and you can set up your subscription at any time during your free trial it won't actually bill you until the free 30 days are over so if you want to if you're like I'm in I don't want to I don't want to miss it and forget it you can set it up anytime which I recommend doing. Makes okay. sense. thank you sure thing I have a question. Yes. Um, do you think if it's necessary to have like a personal Facebook page and then a separate business, or do you think it's okay to just do one? This is a great, this is a great question. Thank you. We're way off book tonight, Penny. It's all good. This isn't really a teamsy question, but I'll give you my opinion Sorry. as somebody who worked on this. Um, here's the thing. In the beginning, what's most important is your personal Facebook page, your page, not your, not your like page, like your Facebook wall. That's the most important thing because that's where your relationships live. The reason we create a like page, or you might call it a business page, either way, is to meet people you don't know yet. Okay? So, for example, when I started, I had 3,000 Facebook friends. I don't have that many now because I got rid of a lot of my real estate people. I in front of them make space, but I had 3000 Facebook friends. Just working that list was all the business I needed. Right. But at some point I wanted to create a like page so that I could do ads and I can meet new people. So like pages are to run ads on you post on the like page and nobody sees it. Just so you guys know the way Facebook works. If you have a like page and you post on it, nobody sees that post until you pay to boost it to them. When you post on your Facebook fa page, your personal page, every, your friends will see it. And when you're messaging people, people always worry about the Facebook algorithm. If you're working Teamsy, you're on the top of everybody's feed because you're messaging people. They're seeing that you're connecting with them on Messenger and they're responding. That makes you relevant to that person. And then you're, then, then you're going through and you're, you're commenting you're on their posts because you're doing that automatically when you're messaging them. And when you're messaging them, even if they don't respond, they're going on your page and they're looking at stuff and liking stuff. So your algorithm, you're, you're going to be the most relevant person to your sphere if you're using Teams regularly, just automatically. But in, on your like page, you post like a great blog article or a great something. Nobody sees that until you boost it and pay for it. So um, just so you guys understand the concept, the like page is to, is to, pay for ads to reach the Facebook audience in general and meet new people. And it is a great way to do that, to add to your list as time goes on. If you're new though, it's kind of a distraction that you probably don't need right away. In my opinion, you should get to work on the people, you know, does that make sense? Yes. And as you're generating some income and some space and you're like, wow, I really would like to be meeting more people and putting them in my list. That's when I would start putting together a strategy for a like page. Okay. Thank does you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that good, Penny? Did I keep, am I still on the same page with you? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> a lot of people will go off and start the like page when they haven't made a sale yet. And then they're overwhelmed and it's like, it's just not the right activity at the beginning. Any other questions? <laughs> okay. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, I really appreciate it. It's an honor to be asked. So thank you, Penny, for asking me. Um, we're excited. I mean, uh, I'm excited for Juice Plus. We're, it's like just caught this last this last month, and we're talking to a lot of you guys, and you're going to be hearing a lot from us. And that's typically what happens when we get some energy in a new network, and we'll see some things going. But um, our goal is really to transform this whole industry. We want to bring the heart back to this industry, the reputation back to this industry. But for you guys, you should be able to build a business without feeling icky, right? That's the truth. Or making your friends feel icky, your family feel icky. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, also, when you get into Teamsy, you'll see a link that says community. 
join that. That's our Facebook group. You can join that Facebook community as well um, and connect with us there. So thank you guys. Thanks again for having us. It was an honor. God bless you. Thank guys. you thank so you. much, Eric. This was incredible. I'm so pumped that I offered a challenge to my team for the first month um, that they can win a free month. Two people can win a free month from me because I feel so excited about this and I cannot wait to get started. That's so, awesome. Well, this thank you guys for your support. And, you. um, and again, just, we're just happy to have you guys as part of our Team Z family. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks, Eric.